This is how we build a collection page on Shopify. I mean, I'm going to show you. Uh, right now I have four products. One is in sale. Uh, one has uh, different formats, and uh, which is product variants, and one is sold out. So I browse to my store while I'm in the customized theme section, and I click on Maple Collection, and I see my four products. So right now it's pretty simple. I have a bunch of options right there to display a breadcrumbs, which is uh, really useful if you have uh, multi-level uh, navigation and multiple collection and sub-collections. So you can see that, for example, I'm in home, maple syrup, and in maple candies, which is a subsection of the maple syrup section, for example. And I can then browse to remember customers where they are and in which collection slash categories they are. I can also display a title. I won't because I don't see the need. And I can, instead of showing the buttons there, I can simply show them over the images. That's what I'm going to do. I can as well add a tag filter bar. But I mean, I don't have any tags right now. That's why you see nothing. Or the basic and usual sort by uh, section. I won't. So I can display on mobile in one or two columns. Uh, so this is pretty cool if you want to uh, put more emphasis on the product image. You put one column because you will have one product per row uh, on mobile. And you will have two columns if you select this. So the product button, this is pretty cool. You can hide them. Uh, you can send them uh, on the cart page or the product page or to the checkout page directly uh, if they click uh, at the cart or buy now. So because right now I have buy now, but if I change, this should change as well when I save. And this is pretty cool. I'm going to add a banner. Uh, right now I have one. This is for the non-collection, which is the all collection, the catalog page. But right now I'm in the Maple collection, so I also want a banner there. Well, the Maple Syrup. And <clears throat> I'm going to take an image that I already have. Let's take this one. And I'm going to change the title to uh, something like Maple Syrup Products. I'm going to remove this. Well, it looks nice with something. So uh, browse or tasty products. like this and I could put this bigger smaller or very small I mean the goal is to see the products also so I'm gonna stick it with very small and I'm gonna change a length alignment to well I'm gonna let it to middle as well and <clears throat> this is okay the gradient the one I like and I prefer the most is this one you also have a slightly different one where you could put the text black, for example, just like this. But I'm going to stick with the taste that I prefer, and which is this one. So you fill the gradient uh, right here at the bottom. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to save. And in four minutes, I have uh, up and ready custom collection page and if I have more collections I can add a banner for each of the collections that I have just by selecting the right collection right here thanks a lot and see you in the next video